Hello, it's Trevor here from the Flood Man channel, and this is Avery. He is the third Caballero of the set. Jaden, unfortunately, is not in this video today, but that's all right. Today, we're going to check out some Galaxy's Edge construction, and we have a few fast passes, so let's see what we can do. Yep. Let's get to it. Pro. I'm, I'm yep. What? Cheap yeah. GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as you walk into Hollywood Studios, you'll notice that the front two stores are unfortunately closed. They've been closed for about a month or so. Disney hasn't said what they're doing with them. Probably just some annual renovation. And today, Disney has talked about removing the Walk of the First Order or the March of the First Order. So throughout the day, you'll see Captain Phasma and a bunch of stormtroopers walk down the road. It's a pretty basic show. Yeah. If you see it, take it, check it out. It's pretty cool. So we have Fast Passes for Toy Story Mania, and I actually wanted to show you guys the new dessert that's at Toy Story Land. It is by far one of my favorite desserts here. It is like a blueberry lemon Pop-Tart with the Pixar ball on it. It is really, really good. I love it a lot, and it's only $5. So definitely recommend getting it. To be honest, I kind of like the bacon one more. Yeah, the bacon one. They saw the bacon one. However, they actually got rid of the maple one. So right now there are two. There's the new Pixar one with the Pixar ball and the chocolate and bacon one. Good. So walking by the Great Movie Ride, or what was once the Great Movie Ride, they are getting ready for Mickey's Runaway Railway. Disney said nothing about it so far. I do believe they're aiming for 2020. However, there's no signs of it opening anytime soon. But you can walk up. You can see the hampers of different celebrities. Pee Wee Herman. Hulk Hogan. One of my personal favorite is Donald Duck. The one and only. So you can come over here and stick your feet where Donald Duck was. And your hands. Yep. Pretty cool. I want to give you guys a little update on the wait times. Right now it's around 5.30 and Slinky Dog is at a 70 minute wait, which isn't too bad. I remember this time last year, when the park just opened up, it had a two hour wait. So I definitely recommend 70 minutes, I would wait that. That's a really fun ride and you can see it's going by right now. Alright, first ride of the day, Toy Story Mania. Just gonna need a few of these, just kidding, we'll take two. I just wanted to point out a little Mickey, as soon as you exit out of this ride, there's a hen up there. And in the hen's eye is a little Mickey. Well, let's get started. It's so hard to record in the Not bad. As you come out of Toy Story Mania, there is a new gift shop. That has some basic Toy Story stuff, but they have these really cool pictures where you can stand here and pretend that you're Buzz Lightyear or Bo Peep or Woody. Here, go demonstrate, Avery. What? You can basically pretend that you're Buzz Lightyear. So right in front of Andy's lunchbox, there is a Forky figure for the new movie that just came out. Forky's awesome! Yep, we saw the movie, absolutely loved it. And just beyond there is Galaxy's Edge. No, Just two more months till it comes out, so exciting. and we'll be here. And because this is the second entrance to Galaxy's Edge, they've installed a Toy Story Land sign. So as you're coming out of Galaxy's Edge, you can come right here to Toy Story Land. So this is going to become really, really crowded, really, really fast once again. So these are the two Pop-Tarts, the seasonal one, which is blueberry and lemon, and the one that they had since opening, which is the hazelnut and bacon. Both are fantastic and they're $4.29, no tax. So we have a few minutes to burn till our next Fast Pass, which is Star Wars Lunch. Hey, we found Jaden! Can I go home? Outside Launch Bay, the Stormtroopers are antagonizing Little Kid. Yay! That's not good. <laughs> huh? Have you pledged your support to the First Order? Have you pledged your support to the First Order? No. Uh-oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to bring you to the authorities. So if you guys have the Disney Visa, there are a few character opportunities that you can do. So here at Hollywood Studios, you can meet Kylo Ren. 
and it's a completely separate line. You don't have to wait too long. You just have to show them that you have a character visa, and I do believe they start at 11. So it's not when the park opens, it starts at 11 for both here and the one in Epcot. Keeping with the theme of Star Wars, let's do Star Tours! Yeah. Wait a second, what is this? Do you know? I certainly don't. But I can tell you one thing. That is not He's not a good security guard oh at all. So this time, Jake was the rebel spy, which is pretty cool. I know, right? Don't tell the Empire! He's the spy! But a little hint that we've learned is that the cast member will tell you when to put on the glasses, so leave the glasses off until they say so, and that way you have a better chance of becoming the rebel spy. I wanted to show you guys if there's any updates with Galaxy's Edge construction, but as you can see, they planted some really tall trees, so it's really hard to see past them. Let's look on top of Pizza Rizzo to see what we can see. Also, the other day, there was a cast member with a photo opportunity so you could take a picture in front of the opening of Galaxy's Edge. It's very cool. I don't know why that was, but it was there. Yep, but as you can see, they are not there now, but that's all right. So sadly, even up here, you can't see anything. Crazy. It is, but since we're up here, I did want to show you guys a quick little reference to what was once where Galaxy Edge is now. So on the second floor of Pizza Rizzo, if you come upstairs, Right, as soon as you come up to your left, there is a sign that says 18th Street Station. This was once where Streets of America was. Wow. So right now it's hanging up right here. But this is once where Galaxy Edge is now. It's crazy. All right, this is gonna be our spot for the wonderful world of animation. This is the new projection show. And if you look on the app, you won't see it on there, but that's all right, it's at 9.05 every night right before Star Wars. So it's during Fantasmic, right before Star Wars. So if you want to see Fantasmic, you're going to have to miss this show. Sadly. World of Animation. here at Hollywood Studios. The show wasn't too bad. What did you think? Yeah, the new show, um, I think that compared to the older one that they had, it wasn't much of an improvement. I did like how they started and ended it with uh, sort of a Mickey tribute. Oh yeah, Mickey yeah. Tribute. You don't get a lot of Mickey here in the parks anymore, so it's cool that they added some Mickey parts and Walt parts too. Yeah. So all in all, pretty good. We saw some Star Wars construction. We saw a few other things. We got to also be a rebel. Yeah. You never get to be a rebel. This is our first time being a rebel. So that's awesome. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, Peace out. out.